This is the story of two kidnappers who realize in an unexpected manner that the way of crime can be quite dangerous. Let us read how the kidnappers literally had to pay their way out to be free of their victim. Sam and Bill planned to kidnap the son of Ebenezer Dorset, a respectable mortgage fancier, staying at Summit, a downtown in Alabama. One evening, they kidnapped the kid, bundled him in a buggy, and took him up to a cave. Far from behaving as a captive, the kid enjoyed his time playing Red Indians as if he was on a camping trip. Ha! Huh. Do you dare to enter the camp of Red Chief, the terror of the plains? We're playing Red Indians? I'm old, Hank. The trapper, Red Chief's captive. By Geronimo! That kid can kick hard. I like this fine. I never camped out before. I was nine last birthday. I hate to go to school. Are there any Red Indians in these woods? Even during night, Bill was traumatized by the kid's attacks. <laughs> At daybreak. What are you getting up so soon for, Sam? Me? Oh, I got a pain in my shoulder. I thought sitting up would rest it. You're a liar. You're afraid. You were to be burned at sunrise, and you were afraid he'd do it. And he would, too, if he could find a match. Ain't it awful, Sam? The next day, Sam went to the town post office to drop the ransom note. During that time, the kid terrorized Bill so much that... Sam, I suppose you'll think I'm a renegade, but I couldn't help it. The boy's gone. I've sent him home. All is off. What's the trouble, Bill? I tell you, Sam, a human can only stand so much. I took him by the neck of his clothes and dragged him down the mountain. On the way, he kicked my legs black and blue from the knees down. But he's gone home. I showed him the road to Summit. I'm sorry we lose the ransom, but it was either that or Bill Driscoll to the madhouse. Much to Bill's disappointment. Bill, there isn't any heart disease in your family, is there? No, nothing chronic except malaria and accidents. Why? Then you might turn around and have a look behind you. That night... Sam and Bill received a reply from Ebenezer Dorset with a counter-proposition. Two desperate men, I make you a counter-proposition. You pay me $250 in cash and I agree to take him off your hands. Very respectfully, Ebenezer Dorset. Having experienced the terror of the kid, the two men agreed to Mr. Dorset's proposition. I think Dorset is a spendthrift for making us such a liberal offer. You ain't going to let the chance go, are you? Tell you the truth, Bill, this boy has somewhat got on my nerves too. We'll take him home, pay the ransom, and make our getaway. At midnight, they gave $250 to Ebenezer to take the kid off their hands.